Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween as much as I do and dressing up in costume, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some pretty awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you may already have at home. Today's costume, we are going to be doing the old school Cheshire Cat from the Disney animated film Alice in Wonderland. I chose to go this route because, I don't know, I'm more partial to the pink and purple cat. So that's the one we're going with. Let's get started. Here is our Cheshire Cat and just some useless information. Purple and pink are like my two least favorite colors, but <laughs> for some reason, this I like this, this cat. It's classic. So I bought for this costume a feather boa, purple. You can use purple or pink, whatever you want. You'll see how we end up using it when we're creating the costume. Um, all of these things are either or. You can get the, um, the pink and purple or the blue and gray cattail from Etsy. I will put down in the description what I paid for this and it came with the ears. I have a cat suit here. I think I bought from Light in the Box or a website that I, that I buy things from from time to time. It's full body. So this is all Kim Kardashian. From the hands all the way down to the feet is, is covered. I liked the color. It was the hot pink that I wanted. It matches really well with the tail. And for a wig, I already had a purple and a pink wig. They were long though. I kind of wanted a short one and these are so new that I, did, I wasn't ready to cut them yet. I may use them for other things. So if you have a purple or pink wig at home, either one will work. Obviously, if you're doing the blue cat with the gray, uh, a blue wig or a gray wig will work. Again, I'll put down in the description where I got these items. I got this perfect raspberry wig that happens to be like the exact same color of the bodysuit. So I couldn't have done better there. And it's short like I wanted. The ears came with the tail from Etsy. And I bought two yards of purple felt. This is what we're going to make our stripes with on our cat suit. If you recall, when we were the white rabbit, I had these cute little rabbit feet. Well, they're going to be cat feet today. All I did was I bought some Rit dye in pink and I dyed them along with this just a piece of fur that I'm going to use to accent some areas. I think my hands with so it kind of all goes together and I dyed all of that pink and it worked out just fine you know it's a lighter pink but so are my ears inside so it'll all go together pretty well I think when we put it all together so let's go ahead and start creating so I have my two yards of felt laid out here on my living room floor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut horizontally across the fabric in about one and a half inch strips just to get started because we are making stripes on this costume i will show you progress shots as i go this material is doubled so it's going to make a nice long strip for us or a nice long several nice long strips that we can work with to stripe our costume After you cut several of these strips, you're going to need to put the garment on your body to kind of measure how much you're going to need to especially go around your bust and your rear end and things like that. You're going to want to put it around and pin it in place because you're not flat like the garment is when it's laying on the table. You're curvy and I'm extra curvy so you need to put the garment on and place where you want the strips to go. You'll have to probably do this several times while you're placing your strips and gluing them. I just wanted to tell you that. Don't make the mistake of gluing them when they're flat. You won't be able to get into your costume. I've done that before. I'm here to make those mistakes for you. I am working on it. What I'm doing is I'm darting the strips to my body while I'm wearing it. With hot glue, I'm being very careful, but darting is just where you add a dab 
just to put it in place. It's just like if you're pinning something in place, but you're just doing it with hot glue. I have a sports bra underneath this that's keeping the glue from touching me. And in the other parts, it's loose. The material is more loose, so I can kind of lift and press it, press the felt onto it. You're probably gonna need a little help with this if you have someone at home that can help you, but that's what we're doing. And you don't wanna waste a piece of it. So when you're cutting these strips, you might have a small piece left. Keep those because they'll be good for your smaller parts of your body, like your wrists and your upper arms and your ankles. going to hot glue to the other side of the felt. Hot glue it to, to form fit it to my leg. And that way you're not burning yourself too. You glued it while it was on the floor, you left extra material, and then you put when you put it on, now you're gluing it to the other side of the felt and not <laughs> to your leg and, and burning yourself. So that's what we're going to do on both sides because there's extra on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just, just like that. makeup time we finished the costume the costume you know it was a labor of love I'll say it's probably the for a curvy woman that's probably not the best way to go <laughs> I might just put some duct tape on it and stripes and spray paint the stripes on but it worked you know I had the patience and I was able to do it it just takes some time so I've looked at some examples of the Cheshire cat again Anything from Alice in Wonderland is super versatile and I kind of like, I want to mix one look that I saw with the old school Cheshire Cat from the Disney's animated Alice in Wonderland from back in the day. Now you'll see that my costume is pink and purple. This one, I mean in my opinion it was more pink and dark pink but for some reason online all you can find is like a fuchsia and a dark purple as far as costume costumes or tails or anything like that go so that's what we're doing and that's the cat i wanted to go with so why not at least incorporate the makeup as that cat too so that's what we're gonna do it's storming outside <laughs> so it's a little crazy around here it's only like 3 30 in the afternoon but it looks like it's you know seven o'clock or eight o'clock at night i know you probably heard that thunder so 
we're inside thank goodness and everything is battery charged <laughs> so thank goodness on that too we won't lose power at least to do this so i just glued my eyebrows down what i'm going to use is i have ben nye uh, aqua in a vivid violet it's kind of a darker purple um i'm gonna do that in the top of my head because that's how the cat was in alice in wonderland then around the sides i'm gonna go into a, a darker pink and i have the ben nye aqua here and this is uh in magenta and it's dark pretty dark i have my miran paradise makeup which is the aqua makeup that they carry and this is a lighter light pink is what it's called it's lighter than the uh, magenta so for that i'm gonna go around what my big smile is gonna be with some white to lighten it up a bit because i want this to be like the color of my feet and and my hands so are my palms of my hands and that's what we're gonna do um i've got my yellow contact lenses in and some of it will be improvised because <laughs> uh you know i've never done this costume before so some of it will be improvised i don't know what yet but let's go ahead and get this show on the road so i have my ben nye pencil and because i want to do this the way i'm going to do it i kind of think i want to just outline how i want it to go first and i don't usually do that i usually will wipe my whole face or i'll blue or I'll, whatever color i'm gonna be i'll do the whole face and then i'll paint it on top of it but for this one i want to do it a bit different because I, I definitely want a sharp contrast in color so the cheshire cat has this big grin right so right about there on either side i'm gonna do a line Um, now I'm going around just like that on both sides and it should be pretty even it's almost like a clown smile which makes sense because the Cheshire cat's always clowning around right and mine's a little uneven I can see so I'm just gonna use my q-tip and bring it down a notch doesn't really matter it's gonna be painted on top of so as long as you know where it's going but just do what you gotta do to even up those the smile a little bit if it's a little messy looking it doesn't matter since there's gonna be paint inside we just want that outline it looks pretty good just do whatever you gotta do to make it as even as possible I'm coming out in the middle of my nose and doing almost a clown smile um, with that. Now what I've decided I think I'm going to do is just use the dark magenta for the nose. Because I was looking at some pictures and the Alice in Wonderland version of the Cheshire Cat has a little bit bigger of a nose. Kind of like a big old fat alcoholic nose. <laughs> so I'm not trying to look cute. <laughs> I'm just trying to look like the Cheshire Cat. And I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I just go over and over stuff. So I'm kind of filming at the last minute. I just haven't been sleeping very well, which I don't know if any of my viewers, I'm sure some of my viewers have lost somebody significant in your life. I'm in the second year of that. I lost my mom, so some nights it's really hard to sleep. Like I just can't sleep. I've got to get up and occupy my mind with something that's not thinking about my mom. So, and I was, I took care of her too um, while she was sick. So it's especially hard because those tend to be the times you think about, not, not the times when she was well. I feel like I've, uh, you know, just kind of had a hard time with that. All right. I'm going to color the inside here black. See, I want it to be like that. And I just, all I did was I just went around and around my nose there around the nostril and I'm going to do the same thing to the inside on this side go around the nostril and inside all right there's that 
I need to do, of course, our Cheshire Cat grin. I'm almost making my face like a color page. So when I do my makeup, I'm gonna stay in those lines. That's the plan. Now we're doing the grin inside. So, <laughs> all right, and then we're going to And we're just connecting the line here. See, just like when you see the moon and you're like, oh, that's a Cheshire cat moon. Am I the only one that does that? Probably, anyway. <laughs> um, Cheshire cat moon, that's the Cheshire grin. Of course, when we're drawing teeth, which we won't do until we put the white on, that's one thing we're gonna fill in and then put the lines in there for the teeth. And ready to start coloring our color page. Now I had a way I wanted to do my eyes too. So I'm going to leave them without color so that I can color them the way I want. If I can find a real white eyeshadow, I may use eyeshadow for that. We shall see. All right, we're gonna get started with our purple. It is the Vivid Violet Aqua, Ben Nye Aqua. I didn't see anybody do their makeup like this when I was looking up the Cheshire makeup. This is just something that I wanted to do. My wig is pink. This is gonna give a little contrast and it's kind of the way the cat looked in the old Alice in Wonderland. So I kind of wanna, that's the one I'm doing, so. And I guess, um, depending upon the part of the movie, I guess there were some times where he was pink and purple. So I guess that's not too wrong. Well, there are all kinds of ways you can do the Cheshire Cat. Like I was saying, super versatile. Um, you can look online for ideas. I've seen a Cheshire Cat dress. I've seen the pajamas. I've seen um, just all different kinds of ways you can do the Cheshire Cat. So never ever feel with any of these Alice in Wonderland characters while, like you're boxed into a little box and you can only do whatever. Expand your horizons. Do what feels comfortable to you and it'll turn out great uh, initially i was gonna buy the it's a sort of pajama and it's got a hoodie on it it was the best one i saw and it had a really nice tail but it just wasn't real fitted and i kind of wanted more of a fitted look so i went with the bodysuit you may be going that don't look like a cat right now but it will believe me it's gonna look like the Cheshire Cat. You know what, I think I am gonna do the bottom of my face in the magenta color, because some of my neck's gonna have to be that color too, so I think I'm going there. So to do that, I'm just gonna follow the line that I kinda made with my makeup, just naturally. And I'm just gonna kinda make like it's furry, you know. Make like a, a furry little jagged line there. Do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, that'll look cute. Let's do this. All right. Next, I'm gonna do, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Fill that part in. And here's the magenta, it'll look really cool. And I'm gonna go, well, almost do my whole neck. Not really. I've got feathers at, at my neck, like you saw in my costume, that's gonna cover a lot of that. I do want to do my ear though. I'm going to do that in pink. Just so it kind of hides under my hair because my, my wig is pink. Yeah. Oh, that was a good idea. Yep, for sure. You can also give it a little contrast to my other part and my smile. Now that I kind of have the order of everything and how I want it to go, I'm going to start working on my eyes a bit here. All right, I'm gonna make an outline for now how I want my eyes to be so that I can paint around. Obviously, we're gonna be doing a cat eye. And here I'm going to, this is gonna make my eye a little bigger or make it appear bigger like a cartoon cat. So I have the eye outline the way I want it to. And what I'm gonna do now is take one of these little Q-tip things, dampen it, 
and I'm going to paint the purple in around where I drew to shape the eye. Because of the details, and we're doing a cartoon cat, it's important that everything stays in the lines. Get the job done a little better. Yeah, just like that. We're gonna do the bottom two. See how I did that? Now I'm gonna do the other eye the exact same way. See, I just gotta color it in. We're starting to look cat-like. I'm just saying. So, I'm thinking if my pencil, and it draws pretty good, if it'll white the inside of my eyes here, we're in business. Oh yeah, I have a white pencil here that I'm working with. Looking good, looking real good. You know, sometimes when I do things for the first time, it's like the best time. <laughs> And this, I think, is going to be one of those situations where it's just everything that I had in mind worked out. So that's cool. And I'm so glad I'm sharing it with you. Now it's documented. And if I ever want to do it again, I just watch my video. And be like, oh yeah, that's what I did, right? Got my black and my white so I can even things out. Looking good. Ooh, so the eyes are a little bit of a labor of love. I'm going to take my liquid liner. This is my ultra liner, my Maybelline waterproof liquid liner. And I'm gonna make some fake eyelashes coming off of my fake bigger eye here. Just to bring the cat eye home. And we're also gonna be adding fake eyelashes. But that's last. We do that last. Just like that. I'm gonna add some to the bottom lid too. Yeah. It just looks a little more cartoony that way. I'm gonna darken my line here. Darken my upper line. And that's how we're gonna do that. I love it. So we do the other eye the exact same way. Went a little long, so just made that one a little longer. There's our eyes. Yay, they turned out so good. I just, yeah, let's keep it moving here. So I guess we'll go ahead and color in our nose, work our way down. So I just dampened a little Q-tip here and we'll start coloring it in. I might highlight a, with a little bit of white on this. And I think I'm gonna go around with the nose here. All right, now I want to sharpen up this line here that I have going around my nose because I am a cartoon kitty. So I sharpen up this black line. It got blurred a little bit from the paint. That looks really good. I think if I added a little white, just my uh, Ben Nye Aqua and white give it a little character there we go all right we're getting close got our nose now now what I want to do I'm gonna take my sponge and with my light pink I'm gonna kind of dip into both the pink and the white kind of at the same time to make a lighter pink even lighter than the light pink I'm kind of wanting to match my feet and hands I'm kind of wanting to match my feet and hands. So I got the bigger, the pink, light pink, and a little white here. I'm gonna mix them up about like that. Oh, I like it. I do. Looks real good. I think it looks cool. You can always touch up your lines, so don't worry too much if you go out of the lines a little bit. That looks real good, really good. Stay with me guys, because we're almost done. Got my magenta here. Gonna touch up the magenta. All right. I love it. I think it looks really good. I'm really excited. Because whenever you're doing something for the first time and you're kind of hybriding different looks, you like don't really know if it's gonna turn out or not. Ugh. Well, you don't know how it's gonna turn out is the thing. You know it's gonna turn out somehow. 
but this is better than expected so it's gonna look great obviously now we're gonna move on to the teeth right we're gonna touch up our lines a little bit here I kind of like where some of the black is blurred in a little bit all right all right well, I'm just gonna leave that pink on mind it's almost like a pink shadow coming from my nose onto all right, we're moving on to that Cheshire Cat grin. I'm gonna touch up that pink, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> All right, I got my Cheshire Cat grin. All right, a little more pinky. A little more on there. That kind of faded, so I added more. I like it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw some teeth. So I saw a few different kinds. I'm gonna do the straight up old school chiclet teeth from the original Cheshire Cat. They got the Cheshire Cat looking like a shark these days with the real sharp teeth. All right, here goes some teeth. Ooh, looking good now. This is great. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, sometimes my pencil breaks and my nose is running. It's awesome. Wasn't running before I started putting on makeup. It was fine. Here he is. I went off camera because I had to. My pencil wasn't sharpening. I got still got to get a new sharpener. But I ended up doing the rest of my teeth with my liquid liner. I added a little bit of a cat eye on my upper on my lower eyelid, um, just for you know, just to add to it a little bit. And I added some black whiskers on the sides here on either side just to give it a little more cartoony feel. I'm gonna put my lashes on and my costume and I'll see you in a minute. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Alice in Wonderland's Cheshire Cat. I'm sure it will be a hit no matter how you do it. Remember, you don't have to do it this way. Look for what's going to be best for you. I will put in my description box everything that I used to create this look, including the makeup. And that does it for this episode. I'll see you next time.